Vaccines are giving us all hope of ending the pandemic and getting the global economy on the road to recovery, but we can only end the pandemic anyway if we end it everywhere. So says Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros, who called for a collaborative approach to the fight against COVID-19. In that stride, the Director General disclosed that COVAX had signed an agreement with a pharmaceutical company for the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm glad to announce that COVAX has signed an agreement with Pfizer-BioNTech for up to 40 million doses of its vaccine. Additionally, pending WHO emergency use listing, we expect almost 150 million doses of the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine to be available for distribution by COVAX in the first quarter of this year. Together, these announcements mean COVAX could begin delivering doses in February, provided we can finalize a supply agreement for the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine and emergency use listing for the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine. The Director General assured that the vaccines will be received by signatories to the COVAX facility within the first three months of this year. He highlighted that the agreement also made allowances for other countries to lend support to the COVAX facility. COVAX is on track to deliver 2 billion doses by the end of this year. This agreement also opens the door for countries who are willing to share doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine to donate them to COVAX and support rapid rollout. In my remarks to the WHO Executive Board on Monday, I called on the international community to work together as one global family to ensure the vaccination of health workers and older people in, is underway in all countries within the first 100 days of this year. The commitment of the United States to join COVAX together with this new agreement with Pfizer-BioNTech mean that we're closer to fulfilling the promise of COVAX.